In this new video, I want to give you all the secrets that you need to know to durably prevent or resolve the pain that you feel. In other words, this video is the long answer to the many questions that you ask on the channel. I will also show you how you can find videos for each of the nine steps that we're going to describe on the channel. I'm going to show you the, the thumbnails on the video and you're going to find the direct links in the comments clicking below. Let's go straight into the topic. Step number one is that you learn how the body functions. Yeah? Learning is an essential step because it will give you autonomy, empowerment and therefore freedom. Your physical therapist is surely a great person, but he or she cannot give you specific advice because he or she doesn't live with you or usually doesn't live with you. Yeah? So you need to be able to independently assess every situation of your life and find the best solution. For that, you need to learn how the body functions and step two is to derive from this what is a risky situation. Recognize the hazards. Then, when facing an ergonomic hazard or a posture hazard, what do we do? Step number one is we try to solve it at a technical level. Why? Because it's usually the most effective. It's extremely difficult to sit well on a chair which is not a good chair. Therefore, as far as the technical stuff is concerned, step one is make sure that it is well adjusted. That is, do you know every control of your chair? Do you know its influence on your posture? Do you know how to adjust it? Once you're sure that you have done your best with your current chair, well, you may be wanting to tune it. And that is DIY. That is valid for your chair, but that is also valid in the industry. What can we do with a low budget? And afterwards, we can consider what we can do with a big budget. Why? Because it takes more time. Of course, it's going to be more effective. But if I come to your home and discover that your couch is crap, well, of course, you can change it, but it's going to cost you loads. After you covered everything which is feasible at a technical level, you need to go down to an organizational level. Organizational means what you do with the time factor. First thing you can do is switch between the activities, alternate more. But careful, alternating between sitting postures is not alternating because you're always sitting and just you're sitting sometimes worse than others. So alternating is I sit, I stand, I sit, I stand. And to do this properly, I need to, of course, adapt the activities. Next step, I need to think of the frequency and the duration of the breaks. Frequency is more important than duration. I mean, let's take the example of brushing your teeth, which is exactly the same thing. You don't brush your teeth one hour every week, say Saturday from 2 to 3 p.m. You brush your teeth three times a day, three minutes. Yeah, so frequency matters more than duration. This closes the organizational chapter. Then comes the individual, the behavioral chapter. Why is this the last one? Because sitting well, as I said, is very difficult on a chair, which is not good. And even if you sit well, that's not a reason for not taking breaks. Therefore, the behavioral chapter is the last one. Step number one in the behavioral chapter is improve your posture, improve the way you do things. And the differences are often very small. You see, the, there's a big difference between sitting like this, sitting like that, and sitting like this. And you see, we're talking about a few centimeters between the three postures that I've shown. So, you know, posture is usually not very impressive in terms of difference. What makes its effectiveness is that there are small differences for very long time. And the last step in terms of behavior is implement exercises throughout your activities, throughout your day, both at work and at home. And these exercises can be relaxation, mobilization, stretching or strengthening, depending on the case. As you've seen, there's one or more videos on this channel for every topic. Of course, if you want to go further, there's also the posture manual and the online posture programs. But step one is subscribe to the channel and follow the updates so that you learn how your body functions. <laughs>